Hello everyone, welcome to the another very important session in which we will be discussing some of the very important questions from the previous year CSIR net exam. These questions will be important for the upcoming CSIR net exam, GATE exam, JEST exam, TIFR and other similar exams too. So I hope the series which is Know Your Exam series is going to help you a lot to understand many new concepts, to know about the type of questions you can have in your upcoming exam and what type of preparation you actually need to do. You will be getting all these great ideas in this series and the sessions which I will upload in this series. So I hope that the previous video has made the new concepts clear to you because we have talked about the vector space or basis vector there. So I hope you all have watched that session as well. And today we'll be talking about another new concept in this video. And if you are going to find it helpful and you are going to learn it for the first time, then you can make the proper notes and practice the question and the concept again and again. So guys, now let's just start the discussion. But before I'm going to let you know about the question we will be covering today in this session, I would like to tell you something related to the Unacademy Plus subscription and how Unacademy Plus subscription or the iconic subscription can help you to do the best preparation for your upcoming exam. So let's just start the discussion. And after that, we'll be showing you the question we will consider in this session today. So guys, first thing, whenever you will be taking the Unacademy Plus or the Iconic subscription, if you will use and apply the referral code, which is Anjali Arora, as mentioned here on the screen, or Anjali A Live, as mentioned here on the screen. So by using and by applying the referral code, you will get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount. But at a time, you can use any one of these referral codes. So by using and by uh, applying any of these referral codes, you will be getting the 10% discount in the total subscription amount. One more thing, as I was telling you about the plus and the iconic subscription. So if somebody will be taking the Unacademy plus subscription, they will get these benefits. If somebody will be taking the iconic subscription, they will get these benefits. So depending on which one you find more beneficial for you, you can take that subscription, select it. And then you can start attending the more regular, well-structured and well-planned courses, live sessions uh, on Unacademy learning app. Okay, and that will be helping you to take your preparation to the next level. So I hope each and everything is clear to all of you now and we can start the discussion too. Also guys, uh, there is one more information and the update regarding the mock test. So there is going to be All India mock test on Unacademy learning app. I have already uploaded a separate video for this mock test information on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam. In the description box of that video, I have provided the link to enroll in the mock test as well you can check it out and you can enroll in the mock test and that's how you will be able to uh, like participate in this mock test too okay now let's uh, start our today's session discussion the question which i will be taking will be from december 2019 exam and that's going to be from part b, b of the question paper again okay, from mathematical physics part so you will learn another concept today in this session so basically guys if i'm going to talk about the question the question is let's see be the circle of radius pi by 4 there is a circle whose radius is pi by 4 now since we are going to consider the numbers here so pi you will take as 3.14 divided by 4 is there so what you can do you can just find the value what will be the radius if you want to find so 3.14 upon 4 will give you the value uh, for the radius of the circle centered at z is equal to 1 upon 4 okay that is the center in the complex z plane that is traversed counterclockwise that is traversed counterclockwise now counterclockwise means the anticlockwise okay and for that for as per the coach's residue theorem we use the formula 2 pi iota into sum of residue with a positive sign for the anticlockwise direction contour the value of the contour integral that is integration over the closed contour c z square sin square 4z in the denominator okay dz is so we need to find this contour integrations answer now we know the common general steps we are going to take to find the contour integration answer are we firstly find the pole after that we find the residue at the poles which are lying within the contour and then we use the coach's residue theorem and we get our final answer okay here also we'll be taking the same steps let me just show you how we will be taking these steps and how you will be able to consider that what will be the pole which will lying within the contour will be 
lying within the contour and how you will find the residue at that pole okay so we'll be covering each and everything now let's start the discussion we know generally the poles are the values the finite values of z which can make the function infinity so if i want to get the poles what i have to do i have to equate the denominator with zero okay that's the general step we take so sin is square 4z when we, we will equate it with zero in that case 4z will be equal to what it can have the possible values plus minus n pi where i can take n is equal to zero as well or i can write the zero separately and plus minus n pi then for n is equal to one two three four so on two if i'm including the zero as well okay then i'll be having this expression okay like that z is equal to plus minus n pi upon four is something i will get let's consider the different values of n and i have written the values so if you will take zero one two three and so on two you are going to get that but the point is we should not include the zero separately reason behind it we are taking the plus and minus both signs so i have to write it separate okay i can't include the zero in this part reason because the plus minus both signs have been shown okay that's how we are going to get so here the n values we will take will be starting from one clear next point once you've got these values of z now what are the poles which will be lying within the contour so we know that the radius of the circle given to you is the pi by 4 here and the center is 1 upon 4 so in this case what will happen in this case if you will observe only two poles will be lying within the contour which is 0 and pi by 4 so we have to find the residue at these poles while if you will calculate the values of other poles and as per the circle given to you if you will check it out you will find the other poles are not existing within the contour hence you will not have to find the residue at those poles okay so in this case what we will do this is the function given to us okay if you will see this is the function given to you here i have just written it as z upon sin 4z square okay next thing if you will write the sin 4z series expansion what will happen it will be 4z minus 4z cube upon factorial 3 plus 4z to the power 5 upon factorial 5 and so on too then like alternate sign minus plus minus plus like that okay and that's how if you will take z common from denominator it will get cancelled out we are going to use the formula to find the residue which is z minus pole is equal to t and the coefficient of 1 upon t is the residue so that's how if you will simplify this part by taking z common from numerator and denominator there will be no such term which will give you just 1 upon z or 1 upon t from here okay hence the residue at z is equal to 0 is what it's gonna be 0 itself because no coefficient next residue at z is equal to pi by 4 if you have to find what it will be for that you will be taking z minus pi by 4 is equal to t because z minus pole is equal to t we consider and it will give us z is equal to t plus pi by 4 okay so in this case you will put sin 4 t plus pi by 4 if you will take the 4 lcm like there you will take the lcm and you will cancel it out you will get minus sin 4t okay in this case what will happen in this case if you are going to finally write the z value that is t plus pi by 4 upon minus sin 40 whole square okay that's how you are going to get it so numerator part a square plus b square plus 2ab will give you this expression and the denominator part is going to give you the sine series expansion that's how i have written it here and then it's whole square if you will just simplify it further you can see you want the coefficient of 1 upon t to find the residue so from here that is t upon the square is there if you will take t common it will give you just 1 upon t the coefficient of 1 upon t you will be getting from this third term and the last like denominator so in this case to find the residue we need the coefficient of 1 upon t only third term is required in that case okay i hope you got it all other terms will not be giving you just 1 upon t because we will take it common and they will get cancelled out so only last term we will have to take pi upon 2t okay upon 16t square 1 minus 4t upon factorial 3 square like the series expansion and all and after taking the t common which will become t square because of the square present here we are having the square so due to this square this square we will have the t square outside so once you are going to get that it will give you 1 upon t okay here with this this cancellation and the coefficient of 1 upon t here with the first term you will get just pi upon 32 that is your residue you want to find the integration which will be 2 pi eta into sum of residue which is going to be 2 pi eta into pi upon 32 which will after cancelling give you pi square iota upon 16 
Hence, this is your final answer. So where it is, it's going to be in option C and that's going to be your final answer. So that's all guys. You can simplify with by taking all these steps and by doing this type of calculation. I hope it's clear to all of you now. In case if you will have any doubt anywhere, you can mention it in the comments. I have will try to check it out and will let you know what are the changes we need to make. Okay, so surely you can mention it in the comments. If you are having any doubt, any confusion, we'll just go through that too. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end. If you want to attend the regular live classes of well-structured and well-planned courses by the top educators, then in that case, you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription and by using and by applying the referral code, which is Anjali Arora, as mentioned here on the screen, you will be able to get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount, or you can use and apply the referral code, which is Anjali A Live as mentioned here on the screen. So by using and by applying any one of these referral codes, you will be getting the 10% discount in the total subscription amount. You can take either plus subscription or the iconic subscription. Both will be helping you a lot to take your preparation to a very good level. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end. Thank you and for attending the session till the end. Thank you.